Today, we were there when Representative Darren Soto met with some immigrant families in Kissimmee to discuss the latest situation on the DACA program. It's a program that protects them from being deported because they were brought to the U.S. when they were young. It is also a program the president wants to cut. Channel 9's Sarah Beth Ackerman found out what impact this would have on families here in Central Florida. Honestly, true. Alejandra Salinas was born in Mexico and came to the U.S. with her parents when she was only one year old. Now she's living in a popco with her husband. I don't even know how to explain it. All the blessings that it has allowed me to do, not only to not live in fear, um, it has actually allowed me to see or live the American dream. As of now, Salinas is protected by the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, meaning she can't be deported because she was taken to the U.S. by her parents when she was young. But ever since President Trump started working in the Oval Office, he said he would end the program that protects 800,000 other young adults or dreamers. Selena says she can't imagine what will happen if the program is revoked. It's scary. Um, makes me nervous for everybody, not just for myself, but for all dreamers. Um, so it's, um, you know, there's nights I haven't been able to sleep so far because of it. In July, a Republican and a Democrat joined forces to make the Dreamers legal in the country by introducing the DREAM Act. It would allow those Dreamers to become a citizen. But President Trump said he will not sign the act. We were there as Representative Darren Soto spoke with some Dreamers today. The DACA program is under attack. He continues by saying they need to make their voices heard so Dreamers like Alejandro Salinas has a fighting chance. We want to fight for DACA. DACA means a lot to us, and I think we need to show them what it means to us. Reporting in Osceola County, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. September 5th is the deadline. If the program is eliminated, it would put 800,000 Dreamers at risk for deportation.